I'm beginning my journey in the Rhondda Valley, one of the more densely populated areas because of its past as a center of mining from the 19th century. To explore it properly, I'm going to need some wheels and a local guide. BBC Radio Wales' Roy Noble has recently been on a journey across the valleys for a new Welsh-language speaking TV series. What a motor transport. <laughs> this is what you're used to. <laughs> it is. And when I did the series with a, with a, a trike, it was, in a way, a, a reaffirmation and my reconnection with the valleys. I thought I knew the valleys, but people don't. They have an image. Everyone thinks male voice choirs, rugby. <laughs> And, and coal mining. Yes. Thousands came. They came from all over the place. They came from the rural areas of Wales to get jobs. Everyone fed in their own differences, but, but they came cohesive. They became communities. And these villages here, this is the Ronda Vaur we see here, but really and truly the villages ran into each other. It was crowded and down in the valleys, but you had escapism to the hills around here. It was an ex-miner from near Swansea who, in the midst of this period of industrialization back in 1904, began a revival of Christian faith that spread throughout Wales. Evan Roberts made nationwide headlines declaring that he had an encounter with God. It became known as the Welsh Revival. In 1904, 1905, came this fella from Lacha. Evan Roberts, who was a committed Christian all his life. He worked as a coal miner with his father and then as a smithy. But he reckoned that one night he woke up and he had a four-hour conversation, so he said, with the Lord. And after that, he was the servant of the Spirit. And he went out and there was a following. And he had sort of four kind of rules whereby you had to confess. Then you had to sort of repent. Then also you had to sort of obey the Spirit. And also you had to re uh, confess publicly. Gosh. Whereby in the story of one young woman in the middle of a crowded chapel got up and she said, I give myself to the Lord. And that was the kickoff. That was the kickoff. Thousands did it. Miners working in mines changed their ways of working, especially down, down below with horses. Swearing stopped. They cajole the, uh, the horses rather than sort of force them into positions yeah. and so on and were tender with them. This guy offered a doorway to salvation yeah. and better things and a better life. He did. And he was magical. 